All right, can you get back to it? Ah! Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> Don't that, go that way. That scared me. You're screaming. <laughs> I'm Eagle Eye Fi. I'm Ozone. I'm confident. And I'm Clueless. And we are back playing uh, Our Wild, 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 Wild. <laughs> with Whistlelane. Whistlelane. The resident manager. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Nothing new from Slate. I guess we don't have to check every single time. No. Uh, so the last episode, we went to a Giant's Deep. We stayed in orbit. We entered the barrel, basically, of the orbital launch orbital probe launch cannon mm -hmm. and uh, we found out that there is another part of that system and I think that's where we should head to this episode. Well it was split into three parts and you had explored basically the rooms on one end of it. I only remember seeing two. Well the, the cannon itself split into three parts. Were Yay, you thinking of like pilot. were you thinking of like uh, the different rooms associated? Oh like, yes, the, so the cannon itself split into into three parts and yes. then there was a big there was a big uh, what looked like a control module mm -hmm. um, in another part. Yes. And so that's the that's the part that I wanted to oh, go to. You should check the ship log ship log. Well, you're right, but Just to refresh your memory and, like, summarize what you found. I would like to get landed first. Where is the other part? There's... Oh, th there it no, is. No, it's not. It's just an island. That, Tr trust that. me, it is not the control center. Okay. The islands just do that. Whoa. Yes. They literally, they literally get launched out of the planet. <laughs> okay. What is that? I'm going to say, with the information you have now, that room that signals to the cannon, ah! you, you do not know how to get there yet. And you cannot access it until you get information. Yeah, no, that's, that's inside uh, Ashen Deep. Or whatever. Okay. Ashen deep. <laughs> <laughs> Ashen twin. So, that kind of looks like an island. And it's That's got... That's basically where you crashed the ship the first time, I think. It's got bramble. It's got bramble. Now be careful, because if this island gets launched, your ship is probably going to be lost. Well, I mean, what else do we can we do? I'm saying that because this oh, do do Ghost matter. <laughs> I'm uh, saying that because there's no launch pad. No, you have to uh, take a picture. Take a picture with the scout launcher. Not 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 shoot it, but from your take a picture from your hand. Okay, so there's ghost matter. Photo mode. There you go. What? And then RB. The arrows uh, switch between launch mode and photo mode. Okay, so the, the dark matter is down at the end of the hallway. Mm-hmm. Just make sure... Just keep the, keep the scout in your hand. Keep taking pictures. I don't know how. RB. Okay. So we gotta go that way. But you gotta jump. Yeah. You did not jump. <laughs> nope. I did not jump. The gravity on this... And I can't get up there. Yes, but... the gravity is heavier on this planet. Heavier, quote unquote. Because there's yeah, no so such the, thing the... as weight. The launcher doesn't do anything, so we got to go back. Well, it not in this situation. 
I mean, my rockets just don't do anything. Yeah, the gravity here is almost two times hard. So you gotta plan your jumps. You can actually make that jump with the, the jetpack, you just gotta time it. You're meant to. Yep. Alright, good, 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 Keep good. Keep taking pictures, but it doesn't seem like... Okay, you're good. I think I'm backseating too much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're backseating quite a bit. I just don't want you to die. Hey, I'm not really afraid of dying, you know that. Okay. Alright, how do we get in there? I don't There's a little hole to your right. With ghost mass ghost matter crystals. No, not that. Not that. Turn around to the left. No, to the right. You keep turning. But almost fell keep off. Keep taking pictures, though, because this oh. is a lot of ghost matter. There's a lot of ghost matter. This seems like this is going to be our entire thing that we do this time loop. Okay, so you've stumbled across a camp and frozen jellyfish. A camp? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was wondering if you were going to notice. No, I didn't notice. I was going for that thing. I mean, I don't know what that is. It's oh, jellyfish. hey. It, it's a jellyfish. Oxygen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a jellyfish. Okay. There's a tape. Hey, play recorded. Trip for entry whatever. Crashes to boring crashes. Zero. Remember to seed slate when I get back. Ha ha, yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steep. You just got feldsparred. <laughs> that was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, I can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gossan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Aha, uh -huh, so that's that's the dude that got, got uh, lost. Oh, careful. So he came here before going on to Dark Bramble. Mm -hmm. And now we've got proof. And he did something in which he successfully did not get electrocuted. Yes, he went to the core of the planet. We're, we're about to get sucked up by a You are hurricane. getting. You are get. You are sucked up. Just stay close to the ground, or you will die of fall damage. Uh, how do I... Oh, no. So where am I? In space. In space. And now you're... And now we're back. Mm-hmm. Yay. Minus the ship. That's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, there's there was a something on that island. Teleportation. Yes, not elevator. Not, not teleportation, but it's the the landing pad that I was talking about. It's meant to keep your ship on the ground. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, it says my ship is a hundred meters that way, so. Did we just come out the other side? No. No, you came out from where you came in. Well, the ship is now on top of the Dark Bramble. <laughs> and it doesn't really seem like there's a good way to get back up there. Well, you, you enter the island through here, but you had to go left. My ship was definitely behind me. Yeah. But we got kind of yoinked into space, so that kind of messed things up a bit. Kind of messed things up, yeah.
We found the ship. <laughs> it's right where we just came from. All right, can you get back to it? Ah! Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> Don't that, go that way. That scared me. You're screaming. <laughs> you're hey, look, we got oxygen. Or jet fuel. No, yeah, jet fuel. Okay. So. Ah, oh, you are almost dead. I'm almost dead? Oh, yeah. yeah, I am almost dead. Yeah, so we're so close and yet so far away. Keep taking pictures. Keep taking pictures. Ah! <laughs> oh. You got ghostified. I got ghostified. <laughs> I don't we think only... we could have gotten to the ship. Hmm. We only got about halfway through the loop. Yeah, I know. That does make it difficult. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's anything else to explore on that particular island. Probably not. But Probably it's not. a good idea to just go back to Giant's Deep anyway. Yeah. We'll go back. It's a dangerous place out there, clearly. Okay, so you wanted us to go to the log, too. Mm-hmm. Um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge, White Hole Station, Orbital Probe Cannon. Control Module, Launch Module, Probe Tracking Module, The Construction Yard, Bramble Island, Ocean Depths. Oh my goodness, I don't know that we have time to read all this stuff. <laughs> oh well, we have the whole rest of the episode. Okay. Feldspar found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. Somehow, Somehow. We, we don't know exactly. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. When I launch my scout into the sea that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Construction yard. The Nomai built the orbital probe cannon at a construction yard on Giant Steep. Hmm. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a, a lot. lot of text. Yeah, it is. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launched probe. Any Nomai aboard the probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. Uh, whoops. The right. There we go. Yeah. A Nomai computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I could see the purple electricity outside the viewport. Hmm. Okay. The launch module is badly damaged, but its pro projection pool is still intact. A Nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only need to fire the probe once. A Nomai named Privet countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully la launched. <laughs> successfully launched. There we go. But the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. So I find that interesting. We're finding all of these super ancient references to the Nomai, and yet the cannon just received the order and just launched. The probe, mm -hmm. and so presumably there are Nomai still present in the universe that we haven't encountered yet. Well, it received the orders from the Ash Twin Project. Yes, which is the core in the middle of one of the Ash or Ember Twins. I can't remember the Ash Twin. Um, there's also more information on the big uh, square above. Oh, I thought I had selected that. I'm sorry. The broken remains of a Nomai space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. The orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the Eye of the Universe. 
the Nomai pushed the Orbital Probe Cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of it finding the Eye of the Universe. So that also goes in with how we see it launch into di different directions each time we wake up. Oh, it's a random direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. White Hole Station. Oh, there's more to explore. Every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Well, I don't know what we can, what more we can learn about that. Um, boy, it is really hard to see sometimes when... The Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. So the pil they made it to the Quantum Moon. And yeah, it said that the, 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 you could go up this p pathway to get the last thing that you need, but the pathway didn't work for <laughs> us. Yep. So, in a, in a cruel twist of fate. And if you remember, you tried uh, looking for the Quantum Moon, but as with all the other quantum things in this yeah. game, it disappears when you stop looking at it. Yeah, it disappears when you stop looking at it. Well, do we do we suit up again and go, or do we like do something else? Because what do you think? How I long think... do we have? Probably fifteen minutes. I don't know. I say so. All right, let's go. Let's try to get to maybe the island on Giant's Deep. That another island. You were hinting that we should go to. You're not out of orbit yet. You're not. I don't know how to tell whether I'm out of orbit or not, but... I don't think I was saying to go to a specific island, but there's definitely one island that... Yeah, it had the landing platform. Well, yeah, but the others do have that. But there was one of the islands on Giant's Deep that you could see... Through the projection through stone. Through the projection stone from yeah. the cannon. Yep, yep. Thank you, autopilot. We're going down. Quickly. Ooh, we just barely missed <laughs> the station. Okay, what is that? We saw this. It's a ship. It's a ship. It's an outer wild certified ship. Where am I? Underwater. <laughs> So how do we stay on the surface like that ship, I wonder? Stop moving, I guess? But I'm sure that's the um, other Harthians ship. Okay, yeah, we do float. Sort of. I don't, I don't know if you can actually explore anything on this. Oh! Whoa. It just got sucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently we're underwater, so we're safe. That's not scary at all. <laughs> okay, well, there's there's an island with... Um, with a landing pad. With a landing pad and another one next to it. I'm, like, fighting a current, I feel. It is different from air. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I would put, yeah, I would put your ship like in the middle of that so it doesn't get lost like last time. All okay. these little leaf, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Good job. Okay, so this is definitely a no my thing. Oh, jeez. I was looking at one of the water droplets on your 
shield, face shield. <laughs> face shield? I thought it was a bug on like on our actual monitor. <laughs> I'm like, how did that get there? But, okay. <laughs> but no, it's, it's just the... I don't think there really the, is anything down there. It was just the water droplet with weird coloring. And a doorway! That's broken. Statue workshop. Look at the statue on the ground. Oh, that looks like the statue that was found. What what found statue? Back on hearth. Yeah. It looks like that statue. That put you into the loop in the first place. That put place. us into the loop in the first place, yes. Okay. Just making sure you got that. Oh, I knew that. I, I love these gravity oh, crystals. Oh, dang it. You didn't stay close enough. Well, I tried. I wonder if I could Go get up there. Go the light, Carolyn. I don't think you can make it. I don't either. No, that's annoying. I like uh, traversing wherever the gravity crystals are. They're pretty fun. I get to walk on the walls. Alright, well, we gotta do that again. We're close to, I mean, we're on the equator of Giant Steep. Not, I don't know if that's really important, but it's interesting. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Yeah, I was, I was in a place and I couldn't really walk. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just use my thruster. Because we no. got this tree. No. <laughs> yeah, you were caught in the room. Or something, yeah. Alright, so there's another way into wherever it is, this uh, statue thing. Yay! You gotta go in. What is that? It's kind of obscured by sand uh, right now, but yeah. that symbol at the bottom is supposed to be a tornado. Okay. I am very much emphasizing the tornado part. <laughs> They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flux says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we don't use the other? But what if we don't use the door and stuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flex specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see that test too, Lamai. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flux will let us see the, a later test. I like the um, the uh, difference between some of the you know, my writings. What are you doing? Trying to get out of here, but because yeah. if you um, if you see, I I don't know if these characters were specifically children, but when children write on the walls and you translate them, their writing is noticeably like a lot scribblier and messier than oh, really? than when adults write on the walls. Oh yeah, I noticed it was very different, and I wasn't sure what that was. Outer Wilds, oh, okay, so that's not doing anything. Um, there, we're about to get sucked up. Yes, down. stay on that platform. Uh. <laughs> I beg you. So the whole island is getting lifted up. This keeps you safe. Well, good to know. A little bit backseating because I wouldn't have could really. I didn't really understand that honestly. Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's no. not clear. Oh, okay. It's not clear otherwise. I mean, I guess they tried with the tornado symbol, but... Okay. Yeah. So the children wanted to see the test, but they couldn't. And now that's actually more exposed. Interesting. I wonder what else we've got here. Kind of doesn't seem like very much. But the memory statues, that's, this is where it was made. There definitely was more underneath, though. Mm -hmm. So how do we get down there? Explore! We 
there's a hole in the ground. But that's dear not Liza, going to help Liza. me. Is that where we came in? Well, it, I don't think that it is. No. That's right. This island had like two parts. So now we're going over to the other part. So this is a warp, oh. this is a warp station. Is the, yeah, teleportation warp station. Ooh, some writing. Yeah, except I can't get over the wall because the gravity's too... Well, walk too... around the yellow bird road. <laughs> follow the yellow bird road. Follow the yellow bird road. Follow, 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 follow. Follow the yellow bird road. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely on my workshop inside the island. Inside the island. Interesting. And how do we get inside the island? Well, I think I have a bit of an idea. I don't remember how you get in, but I think I. This is supposed it. to be like a log thing, but it doesn't mm -hmm. seem to really be working. I yeah, I don't re yeah, I don't remember how to actually do a lot of these navigation stuff, uh, but yeah. I think I've deduced it. But I'm not gonna say. There are so many storms. I'm hesitant to leave the hesitant safety. Hesitant to leave the safety, yeah. <laughs> so that that is where we yeah. came in. I don't I don't know how to get into that middle part. Well, Wait, the door was... I, I, we need that door that's broken, I would think. Mm -hmm. But, obviously, we can't mess with the door. No. Those are tornado things. All kinds of tornado things. Uh-oh. Are you trying to launch it? Yeah. There we go. something kind of over there, a little bit of a tunnel, but, yeah, I don't know. Well, I noticed that there was quite a bit of water down there. <laughs> Do we have a storm? I'm afraid of a tornado coming in. Well, stand on the purple thing that was right over there where well, you were standing. But I, I don't think there is a tornado thing coming in. Or not just a I tornado think at this thing, point a tornado. It's called a hurricane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, right, this is how we came in. I don't really think that there are any other of these gravity paths around. Okay, so we're <laughs> down below. Yeah, normally that looks like it's the entrance, but it's broken. We're getting ready to get sucked up, I think. Maybe not. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just stay close. Stay close to the ground. Yep, I'm like staying in this little alcove. <laughs> Hey, at least your ship isn't going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, at least my ship isn't going anywhere. The moment of peace is over. Ow! And we're underwater. All right. Well, you said or you suggested that. Ah, uh, oh, watch out! Water is coming no, back up. It's coming back. Not coming back. Sorry. I think we'll, we'll deliberately go into the water 
and see if we can get in via other ways. Uh -huh. There we go. This is what I was thinking. But then again, I don't know how to get onto the actual flooring. Okay, there it is. There's there we a go. Okay. We found some place new, and that... That was the door? Okay, you can That is the door to the outside. Yep, yep. Okay. So how do we get over there? I think you just go this way. Lots of statues in the making. Lots of statues in the making. All right, what do we got? It's a record player. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue. When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. You have to do the arrows for the pages. See how its see how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Ooh. This is extraordinarily sculp this is extraordinary ex sculpting work, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Send them back? wonder why it would go back. Well, it's it's like um, we remember the previous we we remember the previous cycle because of the statue is sending our memories back, right? I think that's what it's trying to say. Ah, so it's a little symbiotic. So that's a nomai. It looks like the statue. Yeah. No, that's the that's the statue, right? This is a nomai, and this is nomai regular nomai. Huh. So I think bottom right's nomai. The left is a statue. And I think... That's the memory storage module. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So they interconnect with each other, it seems. And tornado safety. Projection stone. Lots of good info. The Ash Twin something projection stone. Yep. I finished installing the masks inside the Ash Twin Project Floss. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being, being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. Oh my gosh. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Hmm. They will? Why is that? Any, if anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Deep. I, I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. <laughs> the whole thing's kind of horrific, honestly. So now we gotta look in the square. The projection. The Ash Twin Projection Stone. Right, so we looked at that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, or something like that um, on the on the the cannon you think no in the Ad Adelok on the moon I thought I think so okay yeah so it looks like only one of the masks is actually on and oh, wait, no, no, no well there's three okay there's three that are on never mind <laughs> just from what I was looking at Yeah. 
Interesting. Well, well, I guess we keep going. Mm, no, nope, there's another translation thing over there on the right. Yeah, but how do we get that? I thought we have already been there, but maybe not. We can't jetpack ourselves up very far because gravity is two times here. Well, we've kind of been going in this semicircle, so I think that's where we go. Now, that's where we came in right there. Yeah. That's the technical entrance, yeah. Well, I'm going. Man, so, I wish we could ascend. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Where's my Zoni? Zoni know my construct, you know, togetherness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that this jetpack is really, really minimal, and mm -hmm. I cannot get up to there. But I, I don't see any way. Oh, I, th I have an idea, but I'm not gonna say. Oh. Wait until we get sucked up by a tornado up and then dropped down, and the water rises. Well, yeah, you're on you're on what I was thinking, but yeah. It sounds like Wait. we might be getting sucked up by a tornado here pretty soon. Yeah. So I would I don't uh, know, maybe you could go into the shelter uh, for the initial launch and then like exit when you're actually in space. I don't know. You can do Yeah, no, I'm just going to stand right here. And uh Oh. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. Okay, go. Aha! Yay! Together, we figured it out! <laughs> <laughs> that was tricky. Yeah, it was. That was tricky. 60 seconds oxygen? Oh, we gotta go. Okay, at least time stops while we're reading. Okay, I'm curious. Is sending... Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, at that, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? That's awfully deep. For kids, because this is kids writing. <laughs> I don't think it's as scribbly as before. I think these are the actual researchers, but I don't, I don't know. Oh. I, I can never remember their names. Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what effectively, what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? I mean, yeah. That's... That's the basis of, of a lot of science fiction is, you know, if you, if you were like to duplicate somebody and all their memories from one person, have you duplicated their spirit too, right? So... Go find oxygen, you're, you're gonna run out. I don't know how to find oxygen. Trees. Go outside, find a tree. Trees. Ow. Ow. Not that. That's a wall. That's a wall. There were some trees where the gravity rocks were to the right. There was a dead looking tree. Okay, it's, well, there, there are going to be more trees in the actual buildings. Right, there we go. There's trees. But you're about to run out. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh! Hey, there's another interesting place to explore. I don't know. We might be getting close to the end of the loop. Oh, I imagine we are. I imagine we are. Wait, I don't know if there's actually anything up there, but like the big rock pillar next to your ship, right? Is there something on top of that? Ah. That you can get to with the ship? Because I don't remember, I'm just 
I mean, they are connected. Oh, we did go there. That's the uh, teleport station. Oh, yeah, because we did, we like went up, we went through the middle of this and then came across or yeah. something. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's get some med kit here. And refreshing. Refreshing. <laughs> Well, that's, yeah. the, that's the Bramble Island. That's the Bramble Island. So... I, I know we had seen something else. There's the music. There there's is your the music, yep. End of day. And oh, there's, there's a fire. There's a campfire. Perfect landing. Sorry, strange person. Perfect landing. Ghost matter detected. Oh no. Well, oh. No, that's ghost matter. Yeah, that is definitely ghost matter. Hey, there's our campfire though. No. No, that's that, a light. That's a lamp. It's up on the cliff. Yeah, I don't know that we can, we're not going to be able to get there. Oh wait, no, no, keep going, keep going. To the left. 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 No, behind you. Your other left. Ah. Oh. Talk to him. I'm trying. <laughs> nice. nice to see you. Uh, which which you universe are talking? Peace. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, di dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. What about you? Have no, you it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> See you in the next <laughs> life. <laughs> Wait, I don't think it. Uh, the time actually paused for that dialogue interaction. No, it didn't seem to. Because we turned that on to have time stop when you're talking. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> it was one of the early episodes. I, I said, like, oh, it would be useful if you could turn on the option to stop time while you're talking because you're gonna, we're gonna be, like, voicing it out. Ah. Uh. Well, just to save you some actual time, but yeah, that deserves a celebratory marshmallow. That that's some does. good information. Indeed, I want yeah. some of that celebratory soup or stew. <laughs> Yum. We'll get three the of them. I don't think the marshmallows would ever be defeated, though. Yeah, not the. We can't interact We're with We're not any of allowed that. to have celebratory stew? No. That's not fair. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we got a lot accomplished there, visited um, a lot of places. And so I feel good about that. I feel slightly redeemed after my pretty poor showing a couple of episodes ago. <laughs> so, uh, and dying earlier in this episode. But I feel good about that one. Still don't feel like we're anywhere close to putting all the pieces together. No. <laughs> no. No. You, st you still got like a few planets and yeah. to explore. Yeah. We got to go to the core of Giant's Deep. Mm -hmm. uh, Figure out how to do that. There's a lot more on Brittle Hollow in the Hanging we have, City. And... We have not even fin uh, visited the Ash or Ember Twins. No. Uh, there's that interloper. So much to do. There's that interloper. Yep. The comet. Yep. The quantum moon. We don't know how to get on there yet. Nope. <laughs> you're you're doing a good job of making me feel inadequate. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a manager does. That's what the manager does. All right. Keep you on track. Well, we'll figure out where to go in the next episode. Until then, though, enjoy the cozy fire and be excellent to each other. We're out.